So we have checked out several 3D hologram fans on our channel already and you know pretty well on how they work with this LED bulbs right over here and they spin really fast and they show you those amazing 3D visuals. So I have several customers and even viewers asking me what is the difference between a good hologram fan and those $100, $200 hologram fan that you can find on AliExpress or Shopee or Lazada. Well, watch on and I'll tell you guys about it. This is the Superb Hollow F65 3D hologram fan, which is the latest model from the company called Superb Hollow that is based in China. So this hologram fan here has a lot of innovations when it comes to hardware and software. Now, as you can see, it is a four blade 65 centimeter hologram fan and the quality is actually pretty good, which I'll show you in a bit. Now, what's interesting about the hardware part here is that it has a toolless design on the front. Notice that there are no screws on the front right over here because all these blades are actually held on by a secure clip which you can easily replace the blades with just pulling down the clip and the blade will easily come out of this unit here. So it's actually pretty simple to maintain if you intend to have this unit out in your retail store and if you happen to want to replace one of the blades because anyway, LED dials do burn uh, like accidentally sometimes or you just want to replace it after a couple of years you can definitely still uh, take out these blades and replace them really really easily now unlike those cheap hologram fans the super holo f65 features wi-fi connection so basically the wi-fi connection is used to upload content over to this fan otherwise you can actually connect it to the internet to manage content from the cloud this is something that not all hologram fans have, especially those cheap one to 200 US dollars hologram fan that you find on AliExpress and all those, they don't have a cloud feature. And the great thing is that Super Holo is not charging a single cent for uploading content through the cloud. And that is actually a great thing. So this unit here has about 16 gigabytes of memory, which is more than enough for you to upload any MP4 file format video. So usually when it comes to those 3D content, it is usually a, a MP4 file with a black background and a, any 3D object that's popping out, right? It's not rocket science here. It doesn't require any special files out there. Basically, it is a media player that is built into this device. And when you turn it on, the operating system basically runs in the background and it plays any media files that it detects in the SD card. In terms of power consumption, the F65 isn't a really power hungry device as it only takes up a maximum 60 watts of power if that is what you're concerned about electricity costs and all this because this is LED technology and as you increase the brightness, it will only hit up to a maximum 60 watts. So I would say that is actually pretty power efficient for a device like this. All right, so now we are gonna check out some of the features of this hologram fan by doing a screen record on my phone. I'm gonna show you the app on how it works including uploading content and how you can manage the content through the app here. Okay, so after connecting to the Wi-Fi connection of the F65, this is the app right here. So it's a pretty straightforward interface where it shows you all the playlists, just like all the previous hologram fans that we have shown you, all right? So these are the available content that I have already uploaded onto the unit itself. So you can actually do some management features. Let's say if I want to manage content 04 here, I simply swipe to the left and tap on edit. And I can even rename the file name if I actually want to, set how many times do I want to loop this particular file. And one thing that's very, I would say, innovative in a way is that you can actually schedule what is the time that you want the content to be paid? Like for example, if this content is made for lunchtime, so I can actually set like for this uh, particular time, enable, I'll enable this content from lunchtime, let's say 12 p.m., all right? 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Let's do it right now to 1300. And I can pick the days that I want this content to be enabled. Now, this is one thing that the cheap $100, $200 hologram fan does not do. And this unit does. So if you happen to run a retail store that has promotions and you want to use this device to promote whatever items that you have, it has this functionality in the app where the cheap hologram fans do not have. Now, there are other features in the app right over here, such as a media library where you can actually download some pretty interesting content here because currently I'm connected to the fan right now, so I do not have internet connection here. Otherwise, you could actually download some 
uh, pre-built content that is already inside. Let me just quickly uh, switch my internet connection for you guys to take a look here. So once we go back and we refresh the page a little and you will be able to see a library of 3D content that is ready for you to upload to your fans. So you don't really need to be a 3D content expert uh, to, to use this fan because there are already some content right over here that you can just simply download and upload to the unit itself. Otherwise, you can also view local files that is already stored on your phone. Now, if you are not impressed with the library of hologram files right over here, you can actually design your own tags or upload your own logo to be in 3D uh, by just using the design tab right over here. So the app actually allows you to uh, create your own content if you want to. So you definitely do not need to be a 3D expert to have something that's cool to be up on this device here, right? And finally, there is a camera feature uh, that actually kind of allows you to shoot your own video using your phone's camera and upload immediately onto the unit. But the coolest feature that this unit has right over here is the projection feature, right? So this is super cool and let me show you how it works here. So as you can see, we have turned on the hologram fan already. It's pretty dangerous. I'm not going to move another inch closer because I'll definitely hit the place if I do that, all right? So let me show you how this super cool wireless projection feature works, right? So I'm going to start my projection right now. So basically, it costs my smartphone screen over to here which is actually pretty interesting if you actually want to show something down your smartphone on this display all right so i'm going to tap on start projection and you actually see it change here there we go my phone screen has been mirrored onto the hologram fan so you can definitely show something that is really cool on your phone or just simply play a, a very short animation that you want to do it on your phone or even like launch the camera right you can actually see uh, what's in front there so imagine if you put a black color background you can pretty much like create a holographic human on this thing with your phone's camera and how cool is that now let's get back to the app of the f65 so let's head on over to the settings page right now so right over here you can actually configure the image settings of the hologram fan including the brightness so this is how bright it could get of course it is overexposed in the camera already so let's just go go back to the lowest brightness you can even set the angle that you want to you can see that the image is actually moving right now it's pretty cool all right so this is actually pretty useful if you're installing the hologram fan in an odd position where you want your image to look better you can actually do that now there is like uh, a schedule switch where you can actually set uh, what time to turn on and off so you don't really need to go and uh, press the remote or to switch on the hologram fan over the app every time you do that all right so you could actually you can actually set uh, uh, a connection to your router for internet connectivity and the synchronized group feature here means that you can actually group a couple of units and join them together to build a big holographic wall now this is something that is unique when it comes to its features because most hologram fans will require a wire to connect to each other like a daisy chain like how you do on a monitor but for the f65 there's no need to do that because everything happens wirelessly now it's unfortunate that i didn't have a second or third unit with me otherwise i could have shown that but yeah this is what you can do with the f65 you can basically just connect multiple fans uh wirelessly and to show content in a panoramic format that's pretty amazing and last but not least the f65 has built-in bluetooth so that you can connect to a bluetooth speaker for sound output if you happen to have sound on your hologram video now that you have seen how comprehensive the features are on the f65 let me show you guys the cheap hologram fan which is right over here now this is a 30 cm model of course it is unfair to compare to a bigger unit but this thing here costs about 100 us dollars all right it is a 30 cm unit from some um, branded company which i purchased it off aliexpress so the build quality of this is actually pretty poor as you can see there's actually some marks on the blades here which makes you feel that it's kind of like a ripper when you buy this and the worst part of the story is that once you turn it on you can see that the image quality is so choppy the colors look washed out that you definitely feel that it is a total ripoff even if it is just a hundred dollar product now in terms of content management such kind of cheap hologram fans usually do not come with their own apps that's because it is already so cheap so what it does is that it has its built-in media player of a course but it doesn't have wi-fi connectivity you can't connect to an app at all and all you need to do is to just take out the sd card here to upload the files on your own which is kind of troublesome every time when you want to upload content because you got to turn off the device and you if you happen to mount this on the wall you got to go take it down and reinsert the sd card every time when you are done so to be honest there is 
a huge disadvantage when you buy such kind of cheap hologram fan products. So that's all for a first look on the Super Polo F6520 hologram fan. We do actually also ship it to international markets as well. So if you're, if you're interested in getting one, definitely just drop us a text and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Or if you had an interesting project coming right up, don't feel shy, just drop us an email and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. So that's pretty much on this video for today. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos coming right up on the channel. Subscribe to us and I will see you guys in our next video.